Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problems on permutations. Before going to the example problems, first of all, what are the formulas we have to use while calculating the example problems on permutations? Okay, once we are uh, discussing the formulas that we are used in permutations for solving some example problems after that we go for example problems okay first formula the first formula is suppose we are given n distinct objects that means n different objects okay then how many number of permutations that can be formed using n different objects without any duplications that is equal to p of n comma n that is equal to n factorial by n minus n factorial so that is equal to n factorial by n minus n is nothing but 0 factorial so that is 0 factorial value is equal to 1 we are already know that n factorial by 1 that is equal to n factorial so number of permutations of n distinct objects without any duplication is equal to n factorial okay this point keep in mind while solving the given problem okay so in the given problem we are given uh, n number of objects that n number of objects are distinct objects that means different objects that means without any duplications among the n number of objects at that time how many number of permutations that can be formed using n number of distinct objects is equal to n factorial okay now we go for second formula in the second formula suppose we are given n number of ob distinct objects among the n number of distinct objects uh, we are taken r objects okay how many number of permutations for taking r objects among the n number of objects that can be denoted by p of n comma r it can be also written as npr okay so npr is equal to p of n comma r okay so that is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial so here p is nothing but number of permutations so n is nothing but number of distinct objects r is nothing but number of objects that we are consider among the n number of objects okay so this is the second formula so this formula is used for uh, finding the number of permutations of r objects that can be taken from n number of distinct objects that is p of n comma r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial okay next go for third formula okay suppose uh, we are given n number of objects so among the n number of objects some duplication objects are also there then how many number of permutations of n objects that we are formed with the duplication so that is uh, the formula is n factorial by n1 factorial into n2 factorial into up to nk factorial that means so n uh, n1 are among the n number of uh, n number of objects n1 objects are one type n2 objects are another type and n3 objects are another type nk objects are kth type okay so among the n number of objects okay several objects are there that can be formed as a group okay n1 objects belongs to uh, one type n2 objects belongs to one type n3 objects belongs to one type 
n4 objects belongs to one type and nk objects belongs to kth type but the sum of these all n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 plus up to nk is equal to n then how many number of permutations are possible that is n factorial by n1 factorial into n2 factorial into n3 factorial into n4 factorial into up to nk factorial okay see this one it is required to find the number of permutations that can be formed from a collection of n objects of which n1 objects are one type n2 objects are second type and nk objects are kth type with n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus up to nk is equal to n this condition should be compulsory satisfied how many number of uh, uh, types of objects are there sum of those number of object type is equal to the total number of objects okay then the number of permutations of n objects are this formula n factorial by n1 factorial into n2 factor uh, n2 factorial into n3 factorial into n4 factorial into etc nk factorial sum of all those components in the denominator is equal to the numerator okay next fourth one is circular permutation permutation in a circle is called as circular permutation that means we are given n number of objects okay these n number of objects are arranged in a circle or a round table how many number of permutations are possible with n number of object that are arranged in a circle that is equal to n minus 1 factorial okay n minus 1 factorial where n is the number of objects okay whenever the given n number of objects are arranged in a circle so how many number of permutations are possible so that is n minus 1 factorial okay so these are the formulas we are used in uh, calculating the example problems of permutations so now we go for example problems okay now we go for example problems okay the first problem is how many ways are there to sit 10 boys and 10 girls around a circular table okay here 10 boys and 10 girls 10 girls sit around a sit around a circular table sit around a circular table okay so total number of total number of persons total number of persons a person is nothing but either a boy or a girl so that is 10 plus 10 that is equal to 20 therefore n is equal to 20 okay so the total number of circular permutations are the total number of the total number of ways of circular permutations are circular permutations what is the formula for circular permutation is equal to n minus 1 factorial n minus 1 factorial where n is equal to 20 so therefore uh, 20 minus 1 factorial so that is equal to 19 factorial okay so this is the answer 
okay the total number of ways of arranging 1 boys and 10 girls around a circular table is equal to 19 factorial okay 19 factorial ways are there 10 boys and 10 girls around a circular table okay next we go for another problem how many ways are there three persons sit around a round table so round table is nothing but circular table okay so the total number of persons number of persons is equal to three so that means therefore n is equal to three okay Total num the total number of the total number of ways of ways of arranging arranging three persons arranging three persons around a circular table around a round table is round table is n minus 1 factorial n minus 1 factorial that is equal to n value is equal to 3 so 3 minus 1 factorial that is equal to 2 factorial that is equal to 2 ok 2 factorial value is equal to 2 Two ways are there. Three persons sit around a round table. Okay. Next. Next we go for another problem. So how many different arrangement of letters in the word bot? Okay. So the given word bot contains how many number of letters? Six letters. These six letters are distinct letters. That means different letters there is no duplication among the six letters. Hence, we can say that the total number of arrangements for the word bot is equal to n factorial. Okay. So, the given word, the given word bot, The given word bot contains contains how many number of letters? Six letters. Six letters that are that are distinct. That are distinct. That means without duplication. Without duplication next one how many number of arrangements the total number of arrangements the total number of arrangements the total number of arrangements of letters in the word bot is equal to in the word bot is equal to p of n comma n so here therefore n is equal to 6 okay p of n comma n is nothing but n factorial so that means the given word contains 6 letters Six letters can be taken all at a time. So, therefore, the number of ways for arranging six letters is equal to so six factorial. Okay. So, six factorial is nothing but six into five into four into three into two into one. That is equal to six into five, thirty, thirty into four, one twenty, one twenty into three. So, 360, 360 into 2, that is a 720. 
Okay, so 720 base are there for arranging uh, six letters in the word that is a bot. Okay, so next we go for another problem. Okay. 